Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video. Uh, I've been a bit complacent already uh, with these, but anyway, we'll get there and we'll keep driving for the 365 videos for this year. Uh, I don't know what video we're up to at the moment, but anyway, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, what I wanted to do is, I haven't done one of these for a little while, um, and I wanted to do my Monday fear journaling. Uh, such an important practice, if you've just stumbled across one of these videos, uh, fear journaling is a very, very powerful tool that we can have to, to understand ourselves and then also to help improve ourselves as well. Uh, generally best done by videoing yourself like this um, but whatever way that you can um, whatever way you can journal these down and get them out of you uh, is brilliant so whether you do that via writing whether you do that as I said through recording a video of yourself like this this is the most powerful way because uh, it's the most confronting uh, but then also uh, if you just take an audio note and, and, and talk about it um, or if you need to just talk to somebody about it if you have somebody in your life that you are able to have that kind of a conversation with then that is a brilliant way of doing it uh, so for me uh, the big one a big one that came up for me again this morning uh, the big big two I, I should say fear of money and fear of power I'm gonna put them under the same banner um, because money is just kind of a way that we it, it is a way that we can measure power uh, and a terrifying fact actually whilst I'm on that topic is this could be a couple years old now and it could be a, a worse statistic now but 62 people have 50% of the world's wealth 62, 62 out of, we've cracked 8 billion people and those 62 people control 50% of the world's wealth. How much power do you think that those people have? That is a lot of control over the way the world operates those 62 people literally dictate what happens in this world on so many levels and that's even outside of just an economic standpoint mind-blowing that that hurts my brain to think about that uh, that is kind of what you call a monopoly uh, and it's yeah scary do people deserve to have that much power? Do they deserve to have that much control over the happenings of this world? Uh, I, I don't know. Um, it's, that's a, a topic for another day and uh, a topic that would probably take longer than the 10 odd minutes that we would have to do this video. Um, but my fear of power is the biggest thing that, that I, and I've spoken about this several times, uh, the, the fear of my own, my own power is the gra single greatest fear that I have and it's the thing that uh, limits me the most in this world uh, and it's still something that I struggle with and I'm stepping more and more into, into my own power, into my own light, into my own, my own love, um, but it's the thing that still still limits me from doing um, limits me from achieving the things that I want to achieve and and I'm getting better and and I recognize that once I get to a particular point uh, and again I've spoken about this in the past once I get a particular amount of power uh, it you know it's going to take time for me to get there so I the person that I will become when I get that power is going to, to have uh, better control and a better understanding of uh, 
the fear of that power. And, and having fear of that power is not necessarily a bad thing either. Uh, so it's, you know, the, 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 the person who doesn't want to become a president or a prime minister is probably the person that should become president or prime minister because they're doing it for the right reasons. Well, they're not doing it for the wrong reasons is actually probably probably a better way of putting it. Uh, you know, they're, they're not doing it for their own, to feed their own egos, uh, to, to, to just simply gain power so that they can control things or, or, or whatever. Whatever their, their, their reasoning might be for why they want to become president or prime minister. Uh, and I think that the right person for the job is, you know, they, they would obviously show leadership um, and they wouldn't want that position because, for me, for instance, like, you know, I've, I've spoken, I've, I've joked about being being Australia's first president. Um, you know, there's the hashtag getting around Sam Stolberg for Prime Minister. And I joke about it and I talk about it, but I actually wouldn't want that job um, because, A, I think I would actually be limited in the control and the things that I could, well, not limited in control, limited in my ability to affect the things that I want to actually affect. Uh, I think that I, as a regular old civilian, if I become a leader and, and, and have the influence that, that I, I want to create, um, then I would do a better job at it outside of the realm of politics. Um, but in the same sense, you know, I, I dream of utopia and, and, and I don't know whether utopia is possible, but uh, I, I do dream of it and I, I, I constantly think about a world that is filled with love and compassion and uh, I, I think that if I went into, into that type of a role, then, then I would actually be hindered in my ability to impact because of the system and uh, I, I don't know whether that system that politicians go into whether they are just fundamentally corrupt before they go into it or whether they are you know whether they go into that system with all of the right intentions but then all of a sudden they become corrupt because of the system uh, you know it's it's hard and um, yeah anyway I've waffled off <laughs> waffled on enough about it my fear of power terrifies the shit out of me like it does and um, always has always will uh, and there's a quote and I've said this before and I'll continue saying it because I absolutely love it I believe it comes from Abraham Lincoln I quote this enough that I really should check it it's either Abraham Lincoln or Teddy Roosevelt anyway he was an American president and uh Guys, <clears throat> any man can handle adversity. To test a man's true worth, give him power. And that that right there is a, a perfect summation of why I fear power is because I fear the person that is residing within me. So once I develop and grow that person inside of me and become confident in completely 100% confident within his abilities and who he is as a person uh, then I can step into that power and step into that light but I've still got some work to do uh, <clears throat> another one is uh, fear of losing my loved ones is, is one that actually rose uh, over the weekend which was an interesting one uh, I don't fear death for myself, uh, but I obviously don't want the, my loved ones around me to to go. Uh, and I was particularly thinking about my my nephew when camping with my brother on the weekend, and I was particularly thinking about my nephew and my godson, uh, Jacko. Um, yeah, just the idea in my head popped up, and yeah, the, the thought of losing him would yeah, that is definitely a fear. Um, 
because obviously we don't want to lose any of our loved ones but it is also a part of life and, and things happen so um, yeah it's just raising that one because it did it did come up over the weekend but I'm not putting any any weight onto it uh, and a third one what is a third one let's have a think Huh. Interesting. <laughs> of the car fan, I, I get startled by these sometimes. Um, but the the fear of not finding a partner. Now that's an interesting one because I am fiercely independent, uh, and I don't I don't put any of my own. Um, I don't put any massive weight on it of finding a partner or at least I don't, don't believe I do uh, but interesting that that, that has arisen uh, I guess I guess finding our other half is something that um, I, I think is, is one of the purposes of our life um, but I've never put any pressure on it I've ne well not recently anyway and you know I've, I've actually done a fair bit of thinking about it recently um, and it's interesting that that thought has arisen of that fear um, and <clears throat> I've, I've, I've always been under an understanding that I am a little bit of a sacrificial lamb because of everything that I want to do. It's going to be very difficult to bring somebody into that craziness. Um, and being single could... I've, I've always thought that being single would allow me the flexibility and freedom to do the things that I need to do. Uh, and who knows where the life, this life will lead me, but uh, the... Uh, it's a very real opportunity, very real potential, and this, this has crossed my mind, is that, you know, I, I become a political prisoner at some point, uh, and I don't want to have anybody brought into that having to wait. Uh, was Nelson Mandela sentenced to 25 years and released after 20 or something like that? Um, not saying that I am Nelson Mandela, but... there is a very real opportunity that because I'm standing against the system and there are very powerful people within that system that I become a political prisoner um, but anyway interesting I am going to have to give that one some thought maybe do some writing about it uh, yeah fascinating anyway what are your fears guys write them down um, if you care for sharing them with me uh, record them, whatever. Uh, if you care, sharing what they are and why they are the reason for you. Breathe into them. Um, allow yourself to feel them. Um, but finish them off with some gratitude. So I'm going to go. I'll just pull up to grab a coffee this morning uh, and sit down for five minutes. And then actually, I'm going to do some gratitudes and things that I am very grateful for. Um, a great way to finish off your fears because it opens you up to to some negativity um, it doesn't need to be negative but it, it does open you up for the potential for negativity uh, and finish them off with some gratitudes um, yeah it's a, a beautiful way to wrap it up and bring yourself back into a, uh, a very loving state so anyway that's enough of me waffling on um, God, waffled on about the power and political stuff <laughs> anyway thank you for tuning in and uh, I will catch you guys in the next video and as always much love and namaste.